Hello. So I wanted to do a video. I actually wasn't going to, but I changed my mind. So anyway, um, Kelly and I did a podcast last night about um, partner, well, about, what was it about? Um, working out kinks. And I kind of wanted to expand a little bit on what partnership means. Um, and I gave it some thought, you know, this afternoon and, um, and I kind of wanted to share what it means to me. I think it goes beyond just a, a relationship with somebody because you can be in a relationship and not be in a partnership. And that probably doesn't make sense to a lot of people, but I'll explain what I mean, um, with the video. Um, in a relationship, you know, you're together, obviously, um, you're intimate, you you know, you share things together, you um, do things together, you spend time together, you talk, you can, you know, everything, you pretty much everything in a relationship is also in a partnership. But I think it's even deeper than that. When you're partners, um, there's definitely equality in a partnership. Relationships, not necessarily, is there equality. Um, and that can mean, you know, you can bring negative qualities into a relationship, but in a partnership, there's equality. There's, you know, you're both equal. You're both um, work together through things. Um you look at each other on an equal level versus, you know, somebody is dominant over the other one. Um, you're, it's like, you're, there's a lot of balance, I think, more in a partnership than there would be in just any relationship. Um, you both bring things to the relationship or to the partnership, um, whether it be, you know, financial or, just, you know, um, you know, different ideas, you teach one another, you help one another, um, you're there for one another. Um, that to me is more of a partnership. Um, in a relationship, it would be, you know, we're together, but not necessarily both bringing equal portions of themselves into the relationship. If that makes, hopefully that makes sense because I'm trying to explain it the best way I can. Um, you know, a lot of times in relationships, you're, you're obviously, you're together, but one of you could be bringing more than the other one. Um, you know, and it, that might work for some people, you know, obviously you're helping each other grow in a partnership. So if one of you is stronger in one area than the other one you you can build the other person up um when you're partners so it's balance it's equality it's um bringing things to the relationship whether it be actual material things like i don't know i'm trying to think of examples here say you you decided to move in together and one of you have you know, a full house of furniture and uh, different things like that, and you're actually bringing that into the house, into the other person's home, you know, that could be one thing, or one of you have, you know, a more income than the other one, you know, your, your work, you're bringing things in, you're, you're sharing yourself completely with one another in a partnership. Um, you're you don't withhold from one another in a partnership and what i mean by that is um you know helping one another through things it's important you know even a relationship it's important to do that but not everybody does that in just a relationship um you know it's a lot of times when tough times come people just give up and or if they're going through something they let their partner go, let their, you know, girlfriend or boyfriend go 
because they feel like they're burdening them. And that was something that was really strong for me yesterday on the podcast. I really wanted to expand on that some more. You know, when you when you trust somebody enough to share you very passionate or very you know your struggles or things that that's bothering you and you're willing to to bring that out and share that you know it's good in a partnership you push through those things together you're not burdening somebody who loves you with these things at all you know you're not burdening them because if they love you then they want to help you with it they want to be there for you and some people, you know, might get scared of that too, um, because they've never experienced that. So it takes a lot of courage to be vulnerable with people. It really does. Um, and that's something I'm working on personally is, you know, having the courage to be vulnerable enough with somebody I love to get the trust, um, you know, to, to build the trust in the relationship. So, um, you know, and, and uh, like I said, again, you know, being completely vulnerable, my friend Brandy is calling me, uh, I'll call you back, but being completely vulnerable and honest with the other person, um, you know, again, that takes courage. It's brave to be vulnerable. It's brave to to um, open up and to express yourself. Um, you know, and and that's even in friendships. You know, I like we said last night. It's it's super important to become best friends with your partner. You want that part, you want that level of trust in one another to where you can go to them with anything and, you know, and know that they're going to be there for you. It can't be any other way. For me personally, I have to be on that level with somebody before I even have sex with them. Like that, that is the ultimate is to be able to trust them with my life and, you know, in all aspects of it and to be vulnerable and, and, to be there and to know that they know that I'll be there for them. I mean, that's even in friendships, that's important for me. I value my friendships and, you know, it's important. Um, so equality and balance, you know, bringing all aspects of your life into in yourself into the partnership and trusting that your partner is going to, bring everything that they have to the partnership without waiver without you know fear um you know and to be on that level of trust with somebody is a beautiful thing i i think there's very few people that i've felt that way about completely safety is completely and is very important to me and that's the ultimate when i feel safe with somebody that is the most important thing um you know it's right up there with trust and love and um to feel safe in all ways uh and that your partner should also feel safe with you as well safe in in the in the regard of in the way of you know trusting them you know, I want him to trust me that I'm going to be there no matter what. Um, and also trust myself to know that I, I should not have expectations of him. Um, you know, we shouldn't have expectations. People go through things and to be present for them is to be to love them, you know, Um so anyway, <laughs> that's what I feel about partnerships and, and versus relationships. You can have a relationship with somebody and not be their partner. 
um, if you're not bringing anything but, you know, your body and, you know, yourself and not really communicating and not, sh you know, bringing all of yourself into the partnership, then it could be just a relationship. Um, partnerships are equal. Um, it's helping each other through things, being best friends, being vulnerable, being open, um, you know, you let go of all your fear and, and know that they're going to be there no matter what, you know, that's truly a partnership and that's unconditional love and, and trust and balance. So anyway, have a good night.